I'm standing outside the courtroom. The air is crackling with anticipation. This marks the first official indictment ever yeah. successfully made yeah. against Wait, someone destroyer. Someone is arriving. I think it may be. Destroyer! Destroyer! Can you explain the thermonuclear bomb and a ransom note found in your armored limousine? Yes, I can. They were merely research for my novella. Give me money, or I'll destroy your president. All right, that's enough. Come I would go. like to say something for the record. I'm a legitimate businessman and patron of the arts who has been unfairly stigmatized because I happen to wear a Teflon and titanium exoskeleton which sadly tends to frighten small children and causes heart attacks in the elderly. Why would I, a humble man, whose sole concern is the import and export of third world novelties, possess a cache of nuclear weapons capable of destroying the city 10 times over? No, I believe that truth and justice will prevail. The system works and I have faith in the system. God bless America! Destroy us! Destroy us! People, people! I'll be happy to answer any and all of your... I didn't want to talk to you anyway. This is uh, nothing more than a salty slab of justice jerky. Cut and dried. Uh, his name isn't Life Build or uh, Have a Nice day -o. <laughs> It's Destroy us! Destroy them. So, you know, case closed. They say we uh, I'll skip this trial thingy and go home. Okay, what the uh, think he's trying to say is that, uh, is that uh, we believe that truth and justice will prevail, that the system works, and uh, we have faith in the system. When do I get to hit him again? Jesus, coming through, coming through. I am the wild blue yonder. The front line in a never-ending battle between good and not so good. Together with my stalwart sidekick Arthur and the magnanimous help of some other folks I know, we formed the ying to villainy's malevolent yang. Destiny has chosen us. Wicked men, you face the dick. All rise for the Honorable Judge Knudsen. You may be seated. Well, I just got up. Why is that man wearing a dress? Because he's the judge. Well, I'd judge him and find him funny. First witness. On the day in question, I, Bat Manuel, drove to the mall uh, to pick up the tick and Arthur, who still don't have a car yet. Oh, come on, Manuel. You took up two spaces? One is not good for the Manuel Mobile. She needs two spots, minimum. Well, now somebody else has no space for his somebody else mobile. You can't take up two spaces with one car. I will not subject her gilded doors to the threat of dinging. Two spots. I hate when people do that. Well, why don't you go park your own car? Oh, that's right. You don't have one. Selfish. Backstreet Parker. Squishy. Trouble No, 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 no. No, 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 this is not my fault. Hello, this is not my fault. Hello? What's wrong? Could be nothing. Could be the stench of unfathomable evil. It's destroy all. Destroy all. Dick! Will you look like a reasonable man? Uh, if I may be honest here, I'm in a situation with my insurance company, so I'd prefer to settle that. You needn't worry about your insurance, little flitter mouse. Really? Oh, that's such a relief. Kneel. Okay? Kneel before your steely doom. Okay. Hey, bossy. Why don't you pick on someone my size? Do you know who I am? Yeah, I know who you are, Distinko. Why don't you curl up your metal mitts and a fist? Because you face the tick. I will destroy you. Oh, bring it on, crap lobster. Nuclear bombs aside, the important thing is that I had the right of way. Batman, well, please get to the point. My point is, my insurance rates go up, but Manuel might as well start taking the bus. So, if there's any justice left in this sorry world, but Manuel's deductible will be lowered $200.
$350, and this case will be thrown out. I rest my cape. No further questions. $400. Very well. Court is adjourned. We will reconvene tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Oh, my head feels like it's, like it's going to have a baby. It's called a headache. It has a name? Got to get to work. The has really gotten to you, hasn't he? Stop using the D word. It makes the brain baby kick. Oh! That's the worst candy ever. Ah. Oh. That's right, Erwin. Just one small pull on the trigger, and all the pain of living will go away like magic. Don't! Show a little backbone, soldier! Sorry, I'm sorry. Come here. Come here. Here. And you, can't I even take a pee break without you talking somebody into suicide? No! Tick, please. The only thing standing between Destroyo and Freedom is us. I don't get it, Arthur. We caught him fair and square, dumped him off in front of the police station with a note pinned to his chest. We did everything a superhero is supposed to do. Why is all this happening? Because this is where we end and the judicial system begins. We'll make it stop. Take. we have to support the system. The system is what we're fighting for. Then why is it fighting us? So, I think today went well. Oh, yes, I agree. I've eliminated all the henchmen who turned the state's evidence, which leaves only the Tick and Arthur as witnesses. Well, that certainly helps, because with less witnesses, the better. Hold it, Destroyo. Did I just hear you right? Because I didn't think you were that stupid. You just confessed to killing the state's witnesses in front of me. Yeah, well, I'm sure the DA will be very happy to hear this. Maybe she'll add a couple murder charges to the list. If you make that call, you can kiss a conviction goodbye. I don't think so. Poor simple captain. Let me explain. I was talking to myself. Since I'm acting as my own attorney, anything I say is privileged communication, no matter what horrors I may confess to. If you report that, I'm going to have to ask the judge for a mistrial. All because of you. Is that what you want, Janet? Is it? <laughs> Tell me, did you have a warrant when you searched my car? Well, since when do you need a warrant to take a nuclear bomb, anthrax, and very strong rope out of the trunk of a villain? Then you admit your rogue act of justice was nothing more than vigilanteism at its worst. I'd say vigilanteism at its best. Your Honor. In light of the Dick's admission that he totally violated my rights as a citizen, I moved to have all the evidence, the maps, the anthrax, the bombs, and the very strong rope be ruled inadmissible. Sustained. Objection! You can't object. But I do! Hey! Bring that back! I'm afraid the evidence is inadmissible. It's like it doesn't exist. But it's right there! I have to rule in favor of Destroyo. What are you, blind? Can't you say he's crooked as a crazy straw? Sir, I do not want to have to speak to you again. Well, I don't want to have to speak to you again either. I'm warning you, I will have order in my court. Give me that! <gasps> Who died and made you the cross-dressing king of justice? <sighs> Contempt of court? Oh, contempt is a strong word. I sure don't like court very much. Tick, if you get thrown in jail, Destroyer's men are going to tear me apart. Good point. Batman will swear you'll protect Arthur while I'm in the pokey. Uh, swear it! Uh, I, I swear. Get him, get him. Oh, there's Destroyer. Destroyer! Is that sir? <laughs> System works in mysterious ways.
Okay, there's nothing to be afraid of. Nobody's gonna kill us in broad daylight. That's what the last witness who was killed in broad daylight said. Look, we gotta face facts. There is no evidence against Destroyo anymore. He's holding all the cards. The only way we're gonna get him is by finding some kind of weak spot. You face facts, buddy man. We're not the Hardy boys. You know, something, something from his past, maybe. He studied under the tutelage of the great Stanislav, Slavia's premier dance instructor who defected to the U.S. in 1984. If we leave now, we can be in Vegas by morning. Yeah, wait a minute. Oh, my God. He's here. Hello, this is Stanislav. I can't come to the phone right now. Please leave a message after the beep. Um, hello? You don't know me, but... Poor little Liberty. With stars in your eyes and your stars full of breasts. The walking, talking symbol of the land of the free and the home of the brave. The living embodiment of innocent until proven guilty. It must be hard to carry all that weight on your downy, delicate shoulders. Shut up. You don't know a thing about me. On the contrary, Janet. I know all there is to know about you. You're a Barbie doll trying to fit into a world full of G.I. Joes, dressed in your special little outfit by the fevered hands of your sweaty Uncle Sam, the only man who ever stayed in your life. He taught you how to fight, but not how to love. And all those boys, all they care about is peeling off that costume to find out if the doll inside is anatomically correct. Shut up! Look at me. Tell me you're happy, and I won't say another word. Oh, my God, it's all true. I'm a lie, and my life is crap. <laughs> Son, you've got a snake on your face. You got the antenna head. <sighs> so I do, so I do. Name's The Tick. And to whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Me. Me. So what are you in for? Political prisoner. I fought the system, and the system won. How about you? Same. Well, all right, brother. The man had been poisoned without ever knowing it. His clothes sprinkled with arsenic, which entered his pores. Within two hours, he was dead. Hey, we should probably get some sleep, huh? You sleep, yes. Another assassin favorite. Well, we could sleep in shifts. Okay, yes, good. Okay, I'll uh, take the first watch. I am the prince of the night, after all. Or whatever. Now, where were we? Oh. Your fear of being loved. Right. Like Batman well. I mean, that was just... That was just a physical thing. Not that it wasn't great. Of course, we'd never tell him that. But it just it wasn't going to go anywhere, you know? I mean, uh, come on. He's... He's... Batman well. Mi amor. ¿Qué pasa? Mire. No te enojas. Te quiero. Te quiero. Te juro. Te quiero. Ay, Antonio. Mi amor. Another urban myth dispelled. Ninjas don't bounce. You saved my life, Batman. Well. To throw up. And then there was Steve. 
he was a lieutenant in the Special Forces. Now, he actually seemed like he was going to be okay, but he had this personal problem from too much exposure to Agent Orange, and I was okay with it, but he was really touchy about it, so sex was always, like, this huge issue, and occasionally he'd go crazy and just, like, flip out. Come, found you woman, will your prattling never cease? Can't you see? I am working on my defense. Are you so needy? Are you so selfish that you can't live for one second without somebody paying attention to you? Sorry. God. Big piggies strutting around with their wire eyes shooting voodoo at my noodle. I hear ya. What I don't understand is I stopped a crime and yet I'm being treated like a criminal. I know, it's crazy. What kind of system? Allows an innocent party to be thrown in the hoose gal and the guilty party to go free. Hey, you're preaching to the choir. Me, you're about the only sane person I've met in the midst of all this insanity. I'm a karmic cosmic comet leaving my stoned immaculate crater in the soul of the virgin mother. Took the words right out of my mouth, me. Are you asleep? Yes, wretched woman, yes. Okay, um, do you really think I'm needy? Needy? No. What you are is wanty. There's a difference. Which is worse? Wanty. Definitely wanty. <sighs> Yeah, that was just a, a natural reflex. Hello? Hello? Is that another what you say before you kill somebody? Hello? No, 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 I'm, I'm coming to kill you. I barely know this little guy. Why should I die because of him? I have so much to live for. Huh? Huh? Who is it? It's your mother. No, th th things are good. Oh, shit! So I was Destroyer's ballet instructor. Unfortunately, his taste for pastries was as great as his love for ballet. Always I would tell him, oh, you need to watch the sweets. The ballet world is not ready for a, a husky wunderkind. He was like, how you say, a beach ball in tights. I remember as if it was yesterday. The taunts of the audience. <laughs> Dance, fat boy. I brought this. It was at that point that I noticed the thermonuclear materials in his trunk. Objection! Inadmissible! Sustained. The state has no further questions. Destroyo, do you wish to cross-examine? Thank you, Your Honor. Awesome. I simply have one question for you. If your life were to end, say, today, would you feel it had been a full one? Objection. Relevance. Sustained. Very well. I withdraw the question. But I'm keeping it. Uh, actually, Your Honor, 
I'd like to answer that question, if I may. Very well, I'll allow it. Have I lived a full life? Well, I've tried. But, you know, everyone has dreams that they never get to realize. I remember an old man once told me this story about a, a little boy who loved nothing more in the world than to dance. Except maybe between meal snacks. Like everyone, he had to make a choice between his dreams and the bad habits that make those dreams impossible to achieve. Well, that little boy didn't grow up to be a dancer. No. That little boy got mean and is here in the courtroom today. And that little boy's name is Leonid Kasparov Destroyovich. Dance, fat boy, dance! Yeah! Destroyo was overheard to shout, the combined weight of the horrors I've authored would crush your carbon hearts into perfect diamonds of terror. <laughs> well, he's got away with words. You know, not to take away from his evilness or anything, but he is also unbelievable with dating problems. Well, it would take a twisted mind to make sense of your love life. Well, Arthur, we fought the law and we still won. What a Moses! Is that what I look like? You don't look so bad. Look at me. Look at that silly face. I'm sitting here. I Thank you.